Welcome back, everyone. We're joined by Colorado with Coach J.R. Payne and student athletes Quay Miller and Jalen Sherrod, and we will open it up with comments from the coach. Yeah, I would just like to start by saying um, how unbelievably proud of our team uh, that I am for the season that we had and for the women that they are and for the leaders that they are and the way that they contribute not only to our basketball program, but to our community and honestly, every single person that they come into contact with, they're incredible young women. I'm so proud to be their coach, um, proud of, of everything that they've accomplished on and off the court. And as I told them, uh, it was an incredible season that was not defined by this one game. Uh, so really proud of, of, our, of the season that we had and excited to see what some of these seniors are gonna, are gonna do and excited for where our program is headed. Now we'll open it up for questions for the student athletes, row two. Brian Howell from the Bola Daily Camera. For both of you, uh, this is probably never a good feeling, no matter what round it is, but to have it come here and be your last game and to have it uh, be such a you know, dominating effort by Iowa, how tough was that just to kind of deal with all those different things? Um, I mean, oh, um, yeah, I mean, it is tough. You never want to go out like that, but um, it, it was some things that, I mean, we can all look back at it now and say it was some things we could have done better. But um, at the end of the day, I'm proud of this team, proud of how we came out. Um, no quit whatsoever in this ball club. And um, yeah, I mean, there's always things to be you know, critical of after a loss, but it is what it is. <coughs> Wait. Yeah. How do you feel? Nope. Okay. Oh, no. Go ahead. Uh, Billy Witz with the New York Times. Uh, Jalen, trying to defend Caitlin Clark, what was, uh, I don't know, now, now that you've gone through it and like game speed and everything, what stands out to you about um, the difficulty in uh, defending her? Um, I mean, she can shoot it from anywhere on the floor. So uh, it's kind of just like, you know, pick your, pick your poison almost. Um, but I mean, she averages what, 30? Yeah, she had 29, so that's two less than her average. So, man, we locked her up. <laughs> In the back over here. Coming. Hi, uh, Jalen. Uh, Mark Singleace from the Albany Times Union. Well, she, well, she had 29. She also had 15 assists. How much harder does it make when she's getting her teammates involved the way she was uh, tonight? Yeah, I mean, that's the part that I would say is the, is the you know, hard piece is that she got everybody else involved. Um, so, I mean, it just speaks to the type of player she is. You know, she's unselfish and she got everybody else going. Um, and I think, as I mean, they had four players in double figures, so five um yeah so uh, that's just tough when everybody else is hitting too i can't i can't go ahead just uh to piggyback off that for quay um you know when they they got some other players involved very early in this game kind of set the tone for them <coughs> um how much more difficult does that make it um when they got everybody kind of rolling like that yeah like jalen said it's just difficult when you have like a player like caitlin um facilitating and um getting hers it's just you got to take away one or the other. Okay. Go ahead. Deshaun from NV Online, and this is for the student athletes. The coach said that this game shouldn't define your season. So I'll let you two have the floor. If you could share one of the most memorable moments of your season, whether it be on the basketball court or off the basketball court. We'll start with Quay and then Jalen. <laughs> Go ahead, Vito. Most memorable. I don't know because I have bad memory, but as I just like go back and think about the season, I don't know, like I enjoyed all of our moments just because like now that it's over, it's like, damn, I want to go back to that moment or even that argument or that misconnect, disconnect. Um, yeah, I just enjoy playing for CU. Um. For me, I think it'll be the moment that my teammates, you know, called me up to the standard and told me to 
realize that my energy impacts them no matter what. Um, it really helped me be a leader and helped me understand that I have to always kind of adjust and be in the right headspace because my teammates need me at all times. Thank you, student athletes. Okay, we'll get one more in. Go ahead. I just want to ask both of you as you have now played your last college game, just kind of your thoughts on, obviously you want to get further than this, but the fact that you guys helped this team get back to Sweet 16s two years in a row. Um, if Koi and Jana can both comment on, you know, if you've had really any time to reflect on you know, how awesome the last two years have been. I got it. I got it. Um, I think for me, realizing that I came here and they took a chance on me and I took a chance on them um, really means a lot. Um, you know, being told your whole life you're too small, um, you can't play on this level, you're not good enough. Um, and just coming out here, like at the end of the day, yeah, we lost, but nobody can take away these past five years for me. Um, nobody can take away what I've done, um, what this team has done. Um, and you know, you, I mean, it sucks at the end of the day, but nobody can take take this away from me. Um, regardless of the criticism you get after this game or throughout the season, um, yeah, I just think that, yeah. Thank you, Jalen. Thank you, Quay. Thank you. Now we'll take questions for Coach. Right here? Yeah. Hey, Coach, Doug Feinberg, the AP. How tough is Caitlin to sort of scheme for? Because she's such a good scorer and, and he's such a good passer that, like, it's sort of pick your poison, I'm guessing, which one you want to focus on more. Yeah, that you hit the nail on the head, and Jalen said it too. It's one thing to guard a great scorer, it's another thing to guard. You know, the, the leading assist getter in America as well. And so um, that's, I think, uh, what makes her so deadly is, is not just the scoring, which in and of itself is pretty incredible, um, but it's the ability to, you know, if you can still stunt that or stilt that a little bit, she's going to find the person that's open. Yep, go ahead, second. Hey, Coach T. Baker with the next. Ooh. Uh, Jalen mentioned, you know, just what these five years have meant to her, and, and I'm just curious if you could say what they've meant to you and, and kind of how she's transformed the program in her time here, both on and off the court. Yeah, see, I was up here to hold their hand while they were crying, and then they left me. Um, yeah, there really are no words um, to describe. Thanks, Jaxie. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there are no words really to describe the, the impact um, that Jalen Quay, Maddie, Charlotte, Sophie, all of our seniors have had on this program. Um, and, and the coolest thing about it, I was saying to Jay and Quay, is just, you know, a lot of people talk about family in their programs and, and, and sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't, but these guys are family forever. You know, when in 20 years when they're going through something, you know, we'll be the first ones that they call, you know, for support. And when I'm going through something, you know, 10 years from now, they'll be the first ones that I call. And that relationship is, is what makes what we do so special. The basketball is just the fun part, you know, but, but the things that, that we have last forever. And, and I know I have no words to, to describe exactly what that means. In the back. Uh, Mark Singleace from the Albany Times Union, Chair. Hi. Um, you start the season with a great win over, start the year with a great win over LSU, end it with a loss to Iowa. I mean, obviously you'd rather be playing on Monday, but do you take some interest in that game Monday and what it kind of means to women's basketball to have a matchup of the, that, you know, the national championship game with the anticipation? Oh, that? sure, yeah. I think everybody, you know, that loves the game of basketball will be tuned into that matchup. I think it'll be a great game. Uh, two of the best teams, you know, in the country, excited that we got a chance to play both. Um, this year because I also think we're one of the best teams in the country. Um, and so, yeah, we'll be tuned in. You know, we won't necessarily care who wins, um, but we'll be excited for a great game. 
Hey, Coach. Isabel Rodriguez with the next. Um, I know the game maybe obviously didn't go the way that you wanted it to, but could you just reflect on what it means to be playing your last game in the Pac-12 and what that conference has meant to you over the years? Yeah, yeah. The Pac-12 has been everything to a lot of us. Um, you know, it's had the moniker, the champ Conference of Champions for many years, and I think it's the perfect name, you know, for such a great conference where there have been so many champions in so many sports. So um, we're really sad that it's over. Um, you know, I know Oregon State will will keep, you know, carrying the torch for hopefully another couple rounds. Um, we'll be cheering for them all the way. Um, but yeah, really, really sad that it's over, but um, proud of everything that we've accomplished as a conference and proud to have been a member for so long. And uh, we'll be excited to, you know, to dive into the Big 12 pretty soon. Hey, Coach, uh, maybe the NC State game was the only one that you guys were out of, yeah. you know? And so did it feel helpless at all as a coach mm -hmm. today yeah. when they're down 20, 25? Yeah. yeah, yeah, helpless might be the right word, only because we were trying so many different things and nothing really seemed to stem the, the tide. Um, but I, I mean, as, as we all saw, like we, our team is built on, you know, toughness and grit and never quit and never stop. We competed, you know, the whole night, but um, but yeah, just we, they were just better than us today. You know, I think we're a really great team. I think we could have won. We believed that we would win the game, um, but they were better than us today. Coach, thank you, and thanks, right. Jax, for joining us. Thank you. Sunday, we resume our press conference schedules with the uh, Game 1 winner at 8.55 a.m. with the head coach, followed by the players at 9.15. Game 2's winner at 10.10 and 10.30.